we put the Helix Plus mattress through our battery of tests. How will it perform? Let's go ahead, take a look. We'll start with an overview of the Helix Plus mattress, who it's best for, what it feels like, and why you might wanna buy it. The Helix Plus mattress is a great option for heavier sleepers who are looking for more support than what a traditional mattress may be providing. It's a hybrid mattress, and from the top down, we have one and a half inches of memory foam, 1.75 inches of polyfoam, another one inch of memory foam, eight inches of pocketed coils, and a final 0.75 inch layer of support foam. It has a firmer feel than the other medium firmness Helix options. If you're looking for a supportive mattress for plus size sleepers with great cooling and a fast response time, the Helix Plus is a good option. The Helix Plus had excellent performance in our testing series. Overall, it received a score of 9.72 out of 10. The best scores it received were perfect 10s in response time and edge support. It stayed in the high 9s for the rest of our testing categories. The lowest score the Helix Plus received was a 9.5 in cooling and pressure relief. The Helix Plus is a bit firmer than many other medium firmness mattresses from Helix, including the Midnight or Midnight Lux. On a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is the most firm, I would say the Helix Plus is a 7 out of 10. This gives it a slightly firm feel. The extra firmness does a good job of providing support for heavier sleepers. If you're under 300 pounds, you may find this mattress to be too firm. This is especially true for side sleepers. Check out the Helix Midnight, Midnight Lux, or the Helix Dusk for a slightly softer feel, but the same hybrid design. If you weigh more than 300 pounds, the robust design and higher performance materials can help better support your body while sleeping. Additionally, it offers good cooling and solid pressure relief due to the material construction of the mattress. If you're considering the Helix Plus, there are a few things to keep in mind. It's designed for heavier weight sleepers and may not be suitable for lighter and moderate weight bodies. In addition, it has a high level of bounce. While this is great for sex, it may be too much for some people. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. The firmness of the Helix Plus makes it an excellent choice for the majority of sleepers. However, if you are a lighter weight side sleeper, you may find the density of the comfort layer to just be too firm. If that's the case, you may prefer a different mattress. Next up, we're gonna move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to nine different factors that impact feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. The Helix Plus started with a temperature of 86.2 degrees Fahrenheit. After lying on the mattress for 15 minutes, the surface level temperature of the Helix mattress was 91.8 degrees. This is about two degrees hotter than the average max temperature across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 89.9 degrees. After five minutes with no one lying on the mattress, it had reduced the temperature back to 85.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the surface level temperature seeming to indicate a buildup of heat, I did not feel or notice any significant heat retention issues during our test. Overall, I was happy with the cooling performance on the Helix Plus. It was able to dissipate heat evenly, and the coils provided good airflow while lying on the mattress. There are a few design aspects that assist with cooling performance. The tensile cover is thin and breathable, which provides stretch and comfort to the top layer of the mattress. Directly below the cover is a top layer of memory foam, but it's immediately backed by a latex-like polyfoam. Latex-like foams are known for their cooling properties and are naturally less warm than memory foam, which tends to retain heat. Below the foams is a layer of pocketed coils to provide ample airflow throughout the core of the mattress. These factors combine to do an excellent job at overall breathability, cooling, and heat retention. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12-pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 1.5 inches. On average, we see a sinkage depth of 2.21 inches across all mattresses we've tested to date. This gives the Helix Plus less sinkage than we see on other mattresses, especially for a mattress top of memory foam. This is certainly less sinkage than we usually see, but it's also a firmer mattress. The firmer feel is designed for heavier sleepers and thus may take more weight to reach the same level of sinkage than a standard non-plus mattress. This firmness also ensures that heavier sleepers don't sink too deep into the mattress, causing support issues and pressure points. To test motion transfer, we place one 12-pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12-pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, 
We use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. Overall, the Helix Plus has moderate levels of motion transfer. From our motion transfer test, we found the Helix Plus had a bit more motion transfer than other 100% foam-based mattresses, likely caused by the coils and relative firmness. Across all mattresses we've tested to date, we see an average acceleration range of 5.83 meters per second squared. As you can see in the chart, the motion has quite a bit of transfer initially and then drops relatively quickly. By 0.57 seconds, almost all of the motion has dissipated from the surface. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. Within 0.2 seconds, the Helix Plus is mostly recovered from the weight of the ball. For complete recovery, it only takes 0.3 seconds. These results show that the Helix Plus has an extremely fast response time and is tied with the fastest responding mattresses we've tested to date. Response times this quick ensure that sleepers will never feel stuck or find it difficult to move around during the night. For heavyweight sleepers, this can be a great benefit, particularly as ease of movement can be a challenge on a 100% foam mattress. To run the balance test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. In the case of the Helix Plus, the ball sank to a maximum depth of 4.58 inches before rebounding upwards. On the up bound, it was able to bounce 4.8 inches above the height of the mattress, which is a bounce range of 9.38 inches. This is a decently high bounce, but again, this bounce is attributed to the firmer feel and thick layer of support coils. On average, we see a total bounce range of 9.36 inches across all of our mattresses tested to date. In our view, the level of bounce is well warranted in a mattress for plus size persons. The added bounce is part of the reason the response is so quick, making it easy to move around on the mattress. In addition, the high level of bounce will be critically important if you have a partner and use the mattress to slither in her huffle. <laughs> <laughs> and use the mattress to butter the biscuit. <laughs> That's not better. How's that not better? And use the mattress for the dance without pants. <laughs> for an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Our edge support test revealed a maximum compression depth of 3.0 inches. This is a fantastic score for this mattress, and the good score can be largely attributed to the reinforced coils at the edges. This is critical for any mattress designed for plus size sleepers and helps to provide ample support across the entire mattress surface. The Helix Plus is among the very best mattresses we've tested to date with respect to its edge support performance. For reference, the average edge compression we see across all the mattresses we've tested to date is 4.68 inches. Whether you're sitting on, lying near, or having amorous activities, the edge support is excellent. Our sex rating formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from other factors plugged into the formula to derive a sex score for each mattress. For the Helix Plus, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.6. Some aspects of the mattress that really helps the overall sex score include excellent edge support, good bounce, cooling, and sinkage. The factor that hurt this mattress the most is noise. Despite the use of pocket coils, these springs can be more on the noisy side. If you've got children or other family members in the house, nothing ruins the mood faster than rhythmic mattress noises. That said, it's definitely not as bad as a traditional inner spring mattress is. However, it is going to be more noisy than a complete foam mattress or mattress with foam encased coils. The material components, quality, and comfort layer thickness are all critical factors to pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position. The comfort layer of the Helix Plus is made up of three layers of foam. Directly below the tinsel cover is a high density memory foam. There's also a layer of latex like polyfoam below the memory foam. The purpose of the polyfoam is to enhance cooling, combat sinkage, and support sleepers in all positions. The last layer in the comfort material is another layer of high density memory foam, firmer than the top layer. This layer acts as a transitional layer between the comfort layer and the coils. To evaluate off-gassing, we monitor the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. The Helix Plus ships compressed, and upon unboxing does require some time for off-gassing. In our experience, the initial smell was moderately strong and took about two days to fully dissipate. 
In addition, since much of the mattress is made from pocketed coils, that ends up being less material that needs to off-gas. Helix has been around since 2014, and their company terms and policies feel pretty fair and favorable towards consumers. They include a long trial period of 100 nights with all their mattress purchases, but take note that the trial period does require a 30-night break-in period. The break-in period is a 30-day window and equals the estimated time it takes for your body to get used to any new mattress. During this time frame, you cannot be issued a refund or return for the mattress. If after the 30 nights, you still don't think Helix is right for you, you have some options. You can return the mattress for a refund, get a different Helix mattress, or request a mattress topper. A required 30-day break-in period is not uncommon across the online mattress industry. While it can be aggravating to have to wait 30 days, it is absolutely true that it can take up to a month for your body to adjust to a new mattress. I would recommend the Helix Plus for sleepers who are looking for a hybrid mattress designed for plus size sleepers. The material construction offers good cooling and pressure relief. Additionally, it has an incredibly quick response time, helping to reduce the feeling of being stuck. The edge support is fantastic, and every other category we tested in scored quite highly. You will need to prefer a medium firm to slightly firm feel, as the Helix Plus is a 7 out of 10, where 10 is the most firm. Overall, the Helix Plus is a match with fantastic overall performance. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Helix Plus, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at NapLab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. What a great movie. Yeah, great scene. I have not even seen the whole movie, I don't think. I mean, that's fair. That's, that's the quote. I, I've seen it. Yeah. You can handle the truth. I want the truth.